the industries that I've visited with. Uh, we've had we had lunch meetings with uh, Stephen and Second Harvest and uh, the Home Depot RDC this month. Um, went to visit and met with the new DuPont uh, plant manager there and had good conversations with her. Uh, Andrew and I visited with the ADM new commercial manager there who handles all the commercial accounts for ADM and he's, he's a nice guy. Had good conversations with them about what they do. Uh, and then also Barnes Healthcare, we had a really good meeting with them that they were um, in response to our Brat article that we ran in the paper. They called us, want to get together and see what uh, we could do with them. We had me, myself, Andrea, uh, Michelle Shaw with the Georgia Department of Economic Development and uh, Bill Tillman from Wiregrass there. Just meet with them. They have some plans on expanding soon, uh, remodeling some of their uh, facilities in downtown Valdosta. Hook them up with uh, Ellen Hill with the downtown Main Street to talk about you know, low interest loans and things like that. That can help them out. So it was a good meeting. Um, we're still doing some follow-up with them. And, and they're a really fascinating company. They've grown from just a pharmacy where you walk into to in-home health care, basically. Um, they have over 350 employees throughout the Southeast. So it's a, it was a fascinating story to hear, hear how they came about. I'll interrupt you Yes. Um, they gave us some great feedback as it relates to the workforce and what they're looking for from um, nursing to managers to IT professionals. And they actually work with in-home telemedicine and things like that. So it was really interesting. And also what they're doing for their employees from a health conscious perspective. Um, they really want to see a healthy community. And um, so one of the things that they've started doing is farmers markets in their parking lot and educating their employees on how to buy straight from a farmers market than right and buy from a grocery store. So it was really interesting and in, um, everything that they're doing for their employees and what they've done in the community. Yep. And then uh, Rivulus is another one. We they used to be John Deere Water. We, ever since I've been here, I've been trying to get a meeting with them, so I just kind of stopped in on one day and I got a meet with them. And Michelle Shaw joined me on that visit. Uh, they're doing really well. Um, you know, when, when Rivulus bought out John Deere Water, they cut about half the workforce, um, but they are back to uh, over 100 employees now, which is more than what they had. And they're adding a new production line. Uh, which is the $800,000 investment that you saw on the report. Uh, so they're doing really well. Uh, and then Southern Castings Incorporated, which is a referral that Mr. Davis sent to me. I went and visited them. They manufacture and make um, concrete, decorative concrete blocks, basically. So all the decorative concrete you see on the county building downtown, they did all that work. Um, but it's a young guy who owns it. He has about 20 employees. He hand makes all the all the concrete blocks, um, and he's growing pretty big, so hopefully we can continue to assist them with, with anything that they need. So. Uh, expansion projects, Project Weld is coming on back, so we finally got our um, uh, engineering drawings back from our engineers. We have a meeting scheduled with the hunts this Thursday with the Georgia Department of Economic Development and DCA to discuss uh, the grant funding for One Georgia to fund the project for the extension for water and sewer. Um, so hopefully that's going to be good. We got that'll be about a nine million dollar investment. We're going to add 50 new uh, high paying jobs as well. So uh, this is an important project and, and one we can't wait to see get going. So. Uh, and then business com or community business and industry partnership. Uh, the BRAT, we had our first quarterly luncheon uh, last Wednesday here at the Authority. So we invited uh, all the members of that group. Uh, that was Georgia Power, uh, Chamber of Commerce. They couldn't make it because they were on vacation. But we had Wiregrass Tech, Department of Labor, uh, Files of State, Small Business Development Center, and um, the Georgia Tech Institute for Manufacturing come in. And we just kind of threw around ideas, discussed. I showed them, we showed them our sales force and how we track our data. Uh, and I showed them my existing industry uh, survey that I do when I go on my industry visits. And uh, well, I got some really good feedback on some questions they would like to see me ask. So that would hopefully benefit them and uh, give some more referrals to them when I do go make my visits. So it was a good lunch, and we're going to hopefully do a quarterly. Our next one's scheduled for October 21st, um, and we'd like to have anybody come if they want to. So.
Now moving on to park maintenance, landscaping, and low-end contract bids. If you look, um, in front of you, you have the bid of low-end contract bids and the landscaping bids. We have um, we ran ads in the Daily Times on June 20th, and then we had a pre-bid meeting for the landscape and mowing bids on uh, June 29th to discuss the scope of work for each of the landscaping and mowing. Uh, we had about five different visitors come for each of those two meetings, uh, but we only got two uh, actual bids on the two different projects. Uh, they were turned in on July 13th, and if you look at the mowing contract first, you see the quality lines there. Um, put a bid in for $36,000 and then proficient pool and lawn for $40,500. And then for the landscaping contract, you see Cut Right Lawn Service, who currently has it, put in a bid amount for the $36,000 as well, proficient pool and lawn for $106,800. Um, so, any questions on scope of work or anything? Yeah, I have a question yes. on a uh, landscaping contract. Um, Thirty-six thousand on the one, one bid, and one hundred and six thousand eight hundred on the other. Yes. Mr. Mm -hmm. Jeanette, that's actually forty thousand rather than one hundred and six. No, that, the landscaping is correct. It is correct. The mowing. Oh, okay. The mowing was the one we had to change, it was, but yeah, that is right. Am I missing something here? <laughs> Did they miss something? Or? I don't think so. I don't know. That's just the way they it came out when you. Decided to add, or way he added it up. So okay. So has has cut right done it before? They've been done in the past five years, right. and so has quality lawns. Okay. Uh, so that's the staff recommendation. Uh, All right. So clear over the right hand side. Yes. What does BSEB certify? That's about off the small emerging business certificate. Mm -hmm. it's a certificate you can get uh, from the city of Alhasta. Um, and and so. Uh, Mr. Copeland let the note and said we really must do have a greater effort toward getting VSEB qualified yes. bids. Um, so, so well, do so we I, have I, a problem? I know I know one came to the meeting, but they never turned in a bid. Okay, that would be so certain. Would there be a possibility of splitting some of these because maybe it's too big for for the smaller guys to chew off? It's possible. I mean, I know there's. Um, been talking to some people, sub, I know they sub out some of their work sometimes. Um, that would count. For the, uh, yeah. They apply. Yes. For the, um, like the pesticides and all that stuff. Okay. Well, I, I, I think you're at a point where you've got to hire someone, but yes. I wonder what we can do to think through is there a way to separate these things into smaller chunks? To give a smaller guy an opportunity, and, and sometimes, sometimes that's the way to get a guy started. Sure. Is it's a smaller deal, you know what I mean? And so, so maybe the guys that the one guy that was qualified, he was smart enough to say, "Oh Lord, I can't do that." Yeah, yeah. But, but maybe there's something we can do to help. Sure. Okay. Right. Right. One more comment. Yes, sir. So I was going to the airport Sunday, I guess, and so I'm driving down St. Augustine, and. And there's a jungle there yes. right next to the, the, is that a detention pond or a retention? One of them. It's Down the corner of that block. Yes. There's a jungle there. Yeah. Is, is that our it, property? It is, and it's mowed now. Okay. Um, it wasn't Sunday. Yes. It was terrible. Okay. And on that, the mowing bid, it says they start in April and do every other month through October. Um, they're actually mowing it now. Uh, so it was April, June, and August. So they're having it started on an early because all the rain we've gotten, and it's just a mess, and everything's really high. But they're mowing it now and taking care of it. So, um, yes, Would it's clean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I try to keep an eye on it. If I see something out of sorts, I'll definitely call them and, and, and let everybody let them know. So. Which was my only question. If these are both ones we're using now, we have no reason not to renew. We're very happy with them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can call them anytime. I've, we had one request for our existing industry in the Zayas City Industrial Park. I uh, thought some bushes that were way overgrown and they couldn't see pulling out of the park and like oncoming traffic. So um, I called the guys up and said, "Hey, can you can you cut this?" And they said, "Yeah, we'll do it this weekend." Um, we're not working, and, and they took care of it that weekend. So. It's, it's, they're very convenient and easy to work with. So. Um, I think the way to kind of accommodate the request
request that you're speaking of to portion this out for um, BSEP would be to, the only way I could see us doing something like that and an idea it would be for us to look at doing it per park. Uh -huh. Well, think, think about it. I mean, I think you're, 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 you have to do something now because of what it is. But so we'll go into another year, and before we get to another year, can you write down that we'll consider that, that we'll think of it, so that, so that the smaller guy gets an opportunity. Okay. Mr. Jr., can staff, uh, we've, we've talked about the contract and what we've done. Uh, the last several years is just extend the existing contract for another year and then the two contracts I have ready for the uh, Shire to sign and get signed before the end of the month so we won't have a gap is to basically allow the authority uh, to negotiate an extension for two additional years at a price agreed upon. So that would be a, probably a good time to be able to do that. In fact, we wanted to try to help a visa person by seeing if there was one part that they could start with, something like that. Do, do we know, do we know one or two of, of those fellows? Yeah, I mean, I can. I so, I mean, so in, in the right. very beginning, what we could do is we could go talk to them and say, you know, why didn't you bid? Is it too big? I mean, if it's, if they've got other reasons, well, that, you know, that's fine. But if there's a possibility that we've got a smaller park and it's a smaller deal, and one or two guys would be interested in it, then, then I think that I think we should, we should just, we ought to be talking to them. We ought to be trying to help them. And I guess from the standpoint of this year, we put the bid out, and we've received bids, and I, obviously we're going to accept you have those bids, and then, so I think it was something we could work on especially in light of the fact that the contract is going to allow us to renegotiate at the end of the year to keep the same one, we could take that into consideration. Well, I'm asking as, as we go forward to, to rethink it. Yeah, and I will say, you know, we've always been conscious about the VSAP participation in our other contracts that we've had that are considerably larger than these. Yes. Um, it's always been a mission of ours to, to have this program supported, so we are very conscious of it, and the fact that uh, we did have one interested, but he didn't submit a bid. We need to find out why and we'll see if we can encourage yeah. participation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, do we need to vote on this? Please. Mm -hmm. I accept a motion that we, uh, or take a motion that we accept the bids presented here. I move we accept the bids as presented. Well, it's really the recommendation of the staff, but which bids? I mean, there's four bids here. So, so the recommendation of the staff is to continue with our current landscaping contract providers, which is cut right lawns and quality uh, quality lawns, to continue working with them um, and negotiate the contract as so moved. And it would be for one year commencing August 1st to July 31st of next year, and would allow the authority to negotiate an extension for two years commensurate with what the present situation We wouldn't be obligated, but we could have that ability if we want to. So moved. Okay. So Mary's made a motion. I hear a second. 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 Okay. All in favor. Uh, 